Oh! 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 What is this? Oh, Jesus! He took out a Ford Explorer! Be in it? I'd love to be in it. Oh, let me in. Oh, yes. Yahoo! Couldn't really end the episode without trying this now, could we? <laughs> I don't have my headphones on because I just love the way I look in this hat. My secret identity revealed! I'm, a, I'm an old man child! <laughs> I mean, I could make myself look bald. Hold on. That'll work. Ah, there we go. That's, that's the closest we're gonna get now, isn't it? What we're doing? We are getting a T-Rex. That's right, I forgot about this. It might take a while, but we're gonna make a T-Rex. We clocked our T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. My dear Dr. Sattler, welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh God, we've got a disease breakout. I mean, oh no, <laughs> we've got a disease breakout. Uh, oh. Oh, I think something else just caught it there. We've got diseases all over the park. This needs to be contained if we don't want a full closure. Oh yeah, we still got that, uh, that Stegosaur who's just here. Well, uh, bye-bye. So we need to look into our star rating. Uh, we got poor capacity. So, that's really good. That's great news. Absolutely splendiferous. Wait, why can't I hear people scream? I don't see Ian Malcolm with a big red convertible. Is it because of the Stego? I'm assuming it's because of the Stegosaurus. If you couldn't have guessed already, oh, ensure no instances. Oh, well, I'm already going about that, Ellie. Dear Dr. Sattler, I'm, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> hey, if there's any, oh, I didn't even mean to get him. Or that one. I meant to shoot this one. It's my eyes. They, they seem to be just going in me old age. Uh, something else just got it. I think that was you. No. Oh, no. It's a Gallimimus who's got it. Oh, dear. Well, you know what we do? We just destroy the entire rainforest. Plant a million trees. It'd be, it would be dead easy in this game. Fire a flare in it. And then shoot it. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, for you, Dr. Sattler, anything. And uh, we still need to get that T-Rex DNA rolling in. There's oh? so much we still don't know, but every success gets us that much closer. Oh, sorry, Sattler, I seem to have sold a prehistoric plant. I'm sure you could have studied that. But now that it is day, let's have a look at the Pteranodons. Beautiful flying creatures. Ooh, so yeah, that has to be the Lost World one, right? Uh, that has to be. It can't be anything else. Can we switch between? Like, left and right? No? Okay, so... Ooh, I don't want to sell one. No. Let's look at jungle. Ooh, oh, look at it! Oh, the way the shadows are on it and everything. That's fantastic. Ooh, nice sound effect there. That wasn't what I remember from Jurassic Park 3, but I like that one. Yeah. Oh, it looks glorious. Spared no expense. And there's a green one. Hmm. Smeezy thinks that uh, somebody just played around with the human saturation controller with that one. And how about the coastal, the Indoraptor Pteranodon? Oh, I feel like I'm in some sort of third person Pteranodon flying game. Just put some Star Fox over that and you're all good. Maintain guest count of 700 out of 700 guests. It is slowly rising. That's mine. I do like if we can entertain people. That's what it's all about. Kids! <laughs> Population. Let's have a look. We need to get to 800. Build some houses, I would presume. But there's a lot of uh, places here. They want more food and drink. We are at maximum capacity. We're still not close. Uh, although, what's capacity like? Can we look at capacity? Profit, uh, uh, the Avery, Avery sorely needs some food and drink. Well, however, oh, 400 capacity for the toilet. Oh dear. For, we're gonna need another restroom. Um, I'll have a quick look on the eye. Where's needing a restroom? Oh God, we need a restroom over there. Interesting that the restrooms you cannot um, charge for, so they're only gonna be uh, a drain on your money. There, how about that? Premium quality, a hotel 
right next to the uh, the Avery. Although now it makes this place look horrendous because we can't really get many trees in there. Oh, we've got a storm. And with that, ah. we can take another task off our list. That's me. Aye, that's right, John. <laughs> Add that to the schedule. I, I mean schedule. Wait, we got no power in there? Wait, why do we have no power? Uh, improved output. 2.0. 2.0. Uh, is things powered now? Just the innovations, uh, sorry, the uh, the arrival helipad. That's kind of a problem. We need that in order to get guests in the park. Okay, let's make another geothermal plant. My dream is coming together. Whoa, okay, since I've added that hotel. Ooh, we had a max for that. And what about this? Uh, mm, okay, well, we need another cafe. The Jurassic Cafe. The finest in cuisine. Next time it'll be flawless, I said. And it is! Sorry, I apologize. I'm sure my uh, lackluster John Hammond impression is starting to weigh you down just a wee bit. Oh, Spinosaurus, is he fishing again? <gasps> Are you fishing? Yes. Oh, I love seeing that Avery. That looks glorious from a distance. Ceratosauruses are completely fine. We haven't really spent many, much time with them, have we? Yeah, squaring up to each other. They're fine. Even after their scale down, they're great. Now, I still need somehow to get more people into my park. We're on four and a half stars. Are you kidding me? We're doing amazing. Absolutely spectacular. Where's them compies? Look, you see, I was just moving my, my mouse across there. I had no idea they were actually there. What is the rating for these guys? 17! <laughs> oh, yeah, they're bloody useless. Oh, is there any point to getting compies apart from to say you've got compies in your park? Obtain a Metrocanthosaurus fossil. Well, I would assume once we make a T-Rex, uh, that's probably going to make everybody come to the park. My T-Rex brings the boys to the yard. <laughs> Where do we go for a 1993 pattern? 1997 AB. Oh, there's so many. Whew. Now, which was the one I really liked? I think this one's the Bull T Rex. Should we get a should we get the Bull T Rex on Isla Isla Nublar? I think we should. I think we should get that. And uh, let's uh inc what increases its rating? We'll be keeping an eye on you as well. We'll watch your pug rating. Give you feedback on your performance. But in the end, the success or failure of Jurassic Park is all up to you. Or is it down to you, he says. 17%, eh? 17%. Well, I think it'll survive now. Oh, it doesn't show me. But it's three million. Three million. Right, Alan Grant. I'm going to go find you. A Metrocanthosaurus Fothel. I don't know if I can actually make a Metrocanthosaurus. Oh no, I can. Yeah, I need to... G Alan! I can't, I can't get it because you... Damn it, Alan! I'm gonna have to terminate your contract, I'm so sorry. I would like a new one, though. Let's go for Ian Malcolm, shall we? Here, on the islands, we need to run He's towards the best. knowledge. Or run away from what our ignorance has created. I prefer the former, and that is why I strongly suggest that you take a look at this latest contract. I really hate that man. Right, there's gonna be no, this is gonna be the T-Rex enclosure, right guys? But I honestly don't think there's any way for me to try and recreate the T-Rex enclosure. <laughs> Cause it had like a huge crevasse to stop the T-Rex from being able to walk over, right? If I remember right. And then, the thing is, the way this park... Yeah, the way this, this game operates is that you need to flatten... Yeah, you can't just have really steep inclines. We can get a little bit of it. And sort of... Kind of do that. But not really. Eh? <laughs> There's no way. We can't recreate it. But... Oh, you know, another one for me and Malcolm. Oh, uh, maybe none of us would be here now. So, 
you might want to listen when I say that there is a new contract for you to consider. I bring the scientists, you, you know, bring the, truth the rock is star. That weather is our biggest enemy when it comes to controlling, well, more, more accurately, maintaining the dinosaurs. Thunder and lightning and rain tap into the primal tendencies of aggression. Adequate weather station placement can help mitigate that. I love that Frontier managed to get Ian and Malcolm, sorry, Jeff Goblin back in to record more lines. I love that, that's amazing. Really, if I meant to go all out, I should have spray painted my hair gray. Next time it'll be flawless. Did I put a gate on this place? I did put a gate, fantastic. And I think I put a gate in the T-Rex enclosure as well. I think I did. They're both here, yeah. Oh, we've got another one. Another one needs resupplying. His fishies need resupplying. And if we can get... Oh god, no more! Sorry, sorry! Uh, we can get you to resupply that one. There. See, they, they just stayed over here, those guys. Once I placed that feeder, I don't know why they wanted to come over here, they just did. Because I've got... Everything's great, apparently. Um, just my dinosaur rating needs to go up, so I'm assuming that once I get Senor T-Rex, um, I should be all good. I do want to just make like, just, just make a crud ton of compies, like they're so quick to be done. <laughs> I may as well, right? That'd be stupid not to. And we also have D dinosaurs, which is such a shame. We'll get rid of that Gallimimus. Attraction profit per minute, get it to 9,000. And we are so far on minus 1,000. And that gets up John Hammond. We'll terminate that one, that's kind of a boring one. Uh... <gasps> Me? Oh, of course. There Let's is go. still so much work. To we be get done. a five-star rating. This contract, for instance, is one such example. <laughs> what? Ah, easy peasy. Just, just get a five-star rating. Collected. You, you know how it is. Just keep going. Get, get all those comsognathus. In fact, just, just yeah. There you go. Just add lots of hatchery slots, and we'll get lots of little baba compies. Although, T-Rex is ready for delivery! Oh wait, did I? Wait, what happened? Collecting asset. There you go, T-Rex is placed! But it said a, di a danger to guest? Oh no! Wait, what happened? Condition critical, in danger. Oh no, are you are you about to be attacked by this guy? Oh! I'll save you! I'll save you! Oh! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! We got this, we got this. There'll be no more fatalities on my watch. See, that wasn't so hard now, was it? There you go, fan tabby dozy. Now, how'd you get back in there? Wait, requires repair at ranger station. So do I have to manually do that? I think I have to manually do that. But we have, we have a T-Rex, don't we? Oh, we have a T-Rex just about to come in. That, that's fine. You can, you can drive all the way, obviously. Uh, we got a huge problem. The Raptors, their pens are open, and the emergency bunkers have been disabled. You suspect what? more sabotage? I have zero doubts, John. And where in the hell is Cabot? You think he's involved in this, John? Most well, certainly what? not. Do you? Let's not rule anything or anyone out. Perhaps... Oh, this involved. is coming out! This time we have to stop the bleeding first. Or at least keep it to a minimum. Yes. Go. Whatever it takes. You've seen the reports, Ian. So, no sugarcoating. Just how bad is it? Wild raptors. Alpha predators running free in the park. Probably hunting. Definitely hunting. And our guests are their most obvious prey. We can try and trank them. Agreed. And let's tell John to close the park down before the panic sets in. It's too late for that, Dr. Sattler. Closing would only make things worse. Funneling people together and creating bigger targets. Besides, closing the park. Hammond would oh, what? Never go for it didn't work? Where have I seen and lived this story before? Oh, that's right. I believe it was on this very spot. Then we'll tranquilize them. It'll work. It has to. Release the T-Rex? Allow it to take down the raptors? What? Guarding the dinosaurs didn't work. I'm all what? These raptors have been modified. Genetically, I mean. So, what, you're saying that they're mutants? They're unique expressions of a specific strain of raptor DNA. 
So, mutants. Whoever's behind the hacks and sabotage did something to make the dinosaurs immune to sedation. Someone is attacking Jurassic Park from within. And it's using covered. Its inhabitants to do it. Then that is how we'll save it. What do you have in mind, Ellie? The T Rex. We turn her loose. Um, no. No, let's not do that. Chaos, Ian. Isn't that what you wanted? Malcolm, it saved us before. She'll want to establish dominance immediately, which oh means my God. she's going to go Are after really the doing this? Uh, not like this. Didn't John Hammond tell you whatever it takes? Well, this is what it takes. A T-Rex. <sighs> I hate this place. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll we'll put a gate on the side oh, there. Oh boy, great, great. Another thing that John Hammond can patent. Well, anyway, nice work. Nice work. You're welcome, Ian. You're welcome. Okay, open paddock Angry nine, I guess. Dinosaurs. Hey, I can save everybody a, a whole lot of time. And it's just the explain what happens eventually, and uh, and that eventually comes much sooner than anybody anticipates. Well, you know, except me. Is about to be loose. Oh, it's the blue one. Oh, I love that color. It's like the bull T-Rex that's blue, I think. It's a shame that we're not going to be able to see this during the day. But there you go, the T-Rex is loose, and now it just needs to take down these raptors, which are... Uh... Oh, they let the compies out and everything. Come on! There you go, get those. So the T-Rex should be trying to make a beeline towards them. Oh, we got a compi, we got a compi. We got a compi out. We got a compi out. Oh, look at him in front of the car. <laughs> he's going back and he's like, oh god, no. <laughs> oh, they're breaking all the fences. T-Rex, off you go. Oh, fantastic. Oh god, what's the going on? No, Cabot! No, you're bad! How, how do we how do we fix this? I, I don't understand how we, like, bring that jeep back. I really don't. But we got a T-Rex. Yes, the T-Rex coming over. It's happening. Chaos in action. Well, I think we all know what we need to do here. It's also making very T-Rexy noises. Like that, uh, that snarl there. Oh, wait. He's not going to take down the, the raptor, is it? Oh! 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 What is this? Oh my god! Whoa! I just threw <laughs> That was amazing! So so these small carnivores are now possibly gonna be killed by the large ones. Oh he's in! Oh she's in, sorry. Oh, she's just going for the other one. Let's see from the other angle. Oh, the water's a bit weird. Looks like frozen water. Sorry, like ice. <laughs> and it chucked towards the fossil. The statue that would have been in there in the visitor center. Why is that? Why did that guy run in here? Oh, Jesus. He took out a Ford Explorer. Oh, that was glorious. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't make that up. There's the raptor. Oh dear. Well, he was right. They were right. It couldn't. It couldn't handle it. Oh my god. That is amazing. That is so cool. Is it gonna go for it? Where is that raptor? Oh, there it is. is he, are they trying to line each other up? All right, then here we go. Let's see this animation. So good. With the Avery there in the background. Whoa! Bam! I guess this is gonna be the T-Rex's enclosure now. <laughs> Do we have any dinosaurs running about? Emergency shutdown. Is that of the ride? Oh, the ride has been shut down because some of the tow vehicles have been absolutely trashed. Although we have a few fences. Probably the T-Rex needs sedating itself, actually. That's going to be a pretty tricky one. Repair that. 
There's the tour. Don't mind me. We are. That was a close one. Uh, where are we? Oh, it's broken back. All right then. Jurassic Park has taught me one thing. It's that T-Rexes like flares. Oh, this is so cool. Please don't have killed anybody. You see this? No, it's not me. Re oh, load the flare, load the flare. Uh, don't come towards me. Go after the flare. Go after the flare. Ah, in the mouth! Come on now! Dion! <laughs> well, I don't think you could get much closer than that, could you? <laughs> so we go into the tour. Yeah. They've got a little bit of a problem, haven't they? I think they may- it might be destroyed. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to do this? Like, legit? How am I supposed to shoot this thing? Like, what even? Like, how close do I have to get it? Oh my god. Oh my god. We've got like two compies we need to dart. Oh, come on! Yes! Got him! Do I get an achievement for that? No? Really? Come on, stay still. Stay still, you buggy. Oh! Yeah! Oh, I got him on his foot! <laughs> right on his little foos. Okay, that's one. That's two. And is that all of them? Oh, they're, they're, they're all being brought. Do they really get a pelican dinner? <laughs> is there any need for that? Just have someone walk in with a little cat basket. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. You don't need that. Don't be silly. And there we go. Do we we did it? That's it. It's over. Jurassic Park is a success? So who was behind the sabotage and data theft? Biosyn. They Biosyn. are my only real competition at the moment. And I needed to stop them before they can do any more. Oh, so sorry. And to My bad. Jurassic Park, of course. I knew they wouldn't give up after their first attempt. So then, Finch's disappearance was all part of the plan. Am I not allowed to have some surprises of my own, Dr. Malcolm? Huh. I'm starting to like you, John. So, Bison didn't get to you, Cabot? Of course not. I was working a con from the inside for Mr. Hammond. John... Keeping us out of the loop like before, that's not exactly inspiring confidence. But why? Because he didn't trust us. Isn't that right, John? Our previous uh, uh, difficulties were the result of an inside job. Regrettable, really. Still, I needed to be sure that no one else was involved. Okay, but why Cabot? His mother is one of my biggest investors. I've always loved dinosaurs. My mother invested on my behalf. It was just a lucky break that John was looking for someone with my skill set. She's worth. Oh, I love years. dinosaurs. Quiet money. Who would ever have known? <laughs> right. So you don't worry about money? Worry about? No. Obsess over it? Well, <laughs> I confess. Consider me guilty. Which is why I think young Cabot here has become such a valued asset. Because he he adds the greed factor. Science and art have always needed commerce, Doctor Malcolm. You can't change that reality. But John, changing reality is precisely what you've done with Jurassic Park. And only time will reveal the extent of the damage. Or the good. Ellie's right. This has the potential to be a place where people can truly learn from the past. And repeat its mistakes. No, you're wrong, Ian. They're not mistakes. These dinosaurs are beautiful animals. They deserve the chance we've given them. They deserve Jurassic Park. Time always tells, doesn't it? Isn't that true of everything? Yep. Everything takes time. And money. We have both. And now the world has a place. This place. To visit these wonderful creatures. Thanks to you, the dinosaurs live. Jurassic Park lives. As Dr. Malcolm would put it, we found a way. And there we have it. Done and done. So, Cabot isn't just into business. He's like a spy? 
He was working on tracking down the person or the Biosyn member from the inside who was sabotaging? Interesting. If, if Biosyn were already in, on the inside, wouldn't they, like, just get on with and steal the DNA, like with Dennis Nedry? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I obviously, I don't work for Bio, Biosyn. <laughs> well, I gotta admit, that was probably the best out of Secrets of Dr. Wu and Claire's Sanctuary as far as, well, probably turn off the music so something else plays, so don't get copyright struck. But of, of the DLC, the big DLC packs that have came out so far, this one's definitely the best uh, in terms of like content, um, storyline, uh, script. Like, I, I think this one's by far the best. Interesting insight into what happened after, if it's canon at all, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for watching this series. In a few minutes, we will be into the giveaway, revealing the 10 winners. And let me know in the comments what you thought of this DLC. Is the campaign on par with the rest of the content, like the dinosaur skins, the aesthetics? Um, I, th I think it, it actually was. It, was, it, it seems like um, we're gonna have uh, Andy Sattler team up with Maisie and Bryce Dallas Howard. Uh, sorry, Claire Deering. She's probably gonna sign more with those values. And Ian Malcolm. I, I'm getting the feeling that Ian Malcolm might die in the next one. I don't know. I'm, I'm just getting that, those vibes from him. It's almost like he'll have a heroic sacrifice. It's like his chaos finally bookends the entire thing. Like he had to sacrifice something and to prove his theory right. And then everyone will, look, there you go. Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum. Oh, there was all of them. BD Wong. Oh, it's great. I love it. I love it. Oh, and my camera has stopped working because the memory card's full. Oops. So, we are done. Uh, Return to Jurassic Park. Wow. Two days, I think it was, on the channel. Uh, <laughs> just, just as a bit of perspective, I got no sleep. Um, I was working all the night and day on the 9th and worked all the way until I think it was 11 o'clock in, in the afternoon almost <laughs> when I got two hours sleep and then continued working. So that's why there was so many videos because I, I wouldn't let up and I didn't want the quality of the videos to like compromise. Even though I didn't have much time, I still wanted to make really good content for you. And it was something that given about two days, I think I did pretty well. <laughs> there was a lot of things that I wanted to do, like the skits between characters. I didn't really have too much time, so there you go. But before we get into the giveaway, I just wanna say a big thank you uh, to everyone who has supported the merchandise. In fact, actually I'm wearing the unreleased uh, Toast Teddy with the wrong kanji, the too thick a font, and uh, different toggles. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanna say that the support on them has been amazing. Uh, we only got 250 of the hoodies in and they sold out within like four days, basically. We only had two sizes left and not many of those at all. Uh, and we've only got, we got another shipment in and that's the last one. Uh, if you wanna find them, they're in the link in the description below if you wanna help support me. Um, or just even get some cool dinosaur merch, uh, like clothing. And that's the main reason why I made this um, because we've had t-shirts in the past where it's been quite obvious. It's like my my stuff drawings that I've done They look they've looked great, but with this one I wanted to try and create Some clothing that I would wear as well and to commemorate the toast plushie Which is now no longer available because uh, my contract with fan with the people who created it has ended uh, I thought what better way to send it out than like toast is toast <laughs> And it's like the uh, the skeleton it was very um Oh, what's the word? It's not improvised. Inspired, that's right. Inspired by the um, the loading screens in the Lost World Jurassic Park for the PlayStation 1 where you had the dinosaurs or the humans as the skeleton form on the intros. And I thought that would be something really cool. Uh, so we've only got a hundred of those left. We've got, so 500 in total now, but that's it. There's no more coming in. So if you want to get one, now's the time. Enough yabbering out the way. You've had hours of me yabbering at you playing this game. It is about time to do the winners of the results. So there is 10 giveaways uh, or 10 codes that I mean, go uh, yeah, that I'm going to be giving away on Steam if I can even talk. Uh, so there's about 2,440 comments. I doubt 2,440 of those comments will have been exactly people wanting to enter the giveaway because I did read a lot of comments and they were just generally comments. But uh, we've got 10 codes. Let's start, shall we? So the first winner is... Oh my God, it was one as well. 
Lucky Bolt, who says their favorite dinosaur is Trodon. I forgot Jurassic World Evolution exists. Another, wow, okay, that's great. A two, two clicks in and already we're getting winners. Uh, Dino Zograffo says their favorite dinosaur is T-Rex. And they're Steven. Yes, my real name is Dinos. I am basically called Dinosaur. Well, I know what I'm calling my kids now. <laughs> I don't care what Whitney says, we're calling it dinos. <laughs> so the third winner is, I'm assuming that's their actual name as well, the Steam name Moat Goat. It says Carnotaurus and Moat Goat. I'm disappointed they didn't put toast, but I'll let it slide. The fourth winner is Spinosaurus. Do I give them a code for that? Ah, I would never be prejudiced like that. So the fifth winner is the Wind's Gacha. Favorite dinosaur is Spinoraptor. I don't think many people would pick a hybrid as a favorite dinosaur if it wasn't Indominus, but you know what? Is it the Spinoraptor from Jurassic World Evolution or the Spinoraptor from Jurassic World the game? The sixth winner is the Dark Knight Strikes. Oh my God, is that the sequel that we never got? Favorite dinosaur is T-Rex. Seventh winner is Emerald Sword. Another T-Rex. I think that's three or four T-Rexes we had. The pro sniper. But can he sniper shoot a Compsognathus in the foot? <laughs> the eighth winner is Onyen Bujikovic. I'm so sorry, I completely butchered that name. Favorite dinosaur, Rex, again. I'm seeing a pattern here. Ninth winner is Pauly G610. Favorite dinosaur is Velociraptor. More specifically, Blue. Okay, I'll, I, that's fine. But I think that's the first raptor we've had, is it? And the final winner is Bashir Plays. Favorite dinosaur is Spinosaurus. So there you are. I will be active uh, for a couple of hours after this video goes up just because I want you to get your copy as soon as possible. So look out, uh, winners for not in a bad way <laughs> look out <laughs> uh, in your inbox for a friend invite from me and i will get the return to jurassic park dlc to you and that's the reason why i've completely done this playthrough in two days because last time i did like the um the herbivore pack i think it was I was really slow on that, so I do apologize to the winners on that. They, they probably bought it themselves, but I did give it to them anyway. <laughs> Commiserations to the people who entered and didn't win, but don't worry, there's always like other giveaways that we do on a new game or uh, DLC that comes out, so <laughs> just subscribe for giveaways. <laughs> Well, if you like Jurassic World Evolution, then yeah, I guess that makes sense, but I don't really give away much else, do we? Give away iPhone, d d g 10 iPhones. Joking, no, I, I, God, good God. I think we did give away a phone once, but uh, that was legit and um, my God, that was ages ago. Don't forget to check out the other series like The Isle, Minecraft, which will be coming back. I do apologize. <laughs> It has taken a while. I've just been so busy with general life traveling and uh, tr like, like I'm, I don't have scheduled content at this point. Every video that you see is like done the day of. Oh, and Planet Zoo. That, I'm having loads of fun with that series. It's awesome. So a final congratulations to the winners of this giveaway. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.